Hi, I'm Dave from BoilerBands.com, and on this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make an epic gated lead effect for some frickin' intense trance music. I'll be making the lead from my band Yu Motami's song At Light Speed. Let's show you what we'll be making. This tutorial will cover some useful things, such as gating with the Matrix Analog Pattern Sequencer, splitting CVs, and how to rave so you don't look like a ponce. Okay, let's begin. I've got a simplified version of the track here, and just three different things, the lead, beat, and bass, and we'll be making this lead synth effect. So let's mute that and get to work. Okay, so right click create combinator which will distort the store our devices in and call that lead two and I'll just copy the notes across now one thing about the notes here notes they're all long notes as, as opposed to short ones the uh, stuttered effect you heard is achieved by that gating technique I was talking about earlier so it's automatic so you don't have to put in thousands of little notes so let's copy that across and it gives a slightly different effect than putting in notes so, here we go. I've got the notes in there so that something's playing through. We'll first of all make create Line 6 2 mixer, which will have both of the synths because this is going to be created by two different um, devices. The actual synth sound will be an instance of create Molstrom and create Thor. Now, we want to get rid of these preset effects, so right click initialize patch. So we've got some clean slates to work with. And then we've got the, the default initialized sounds in there. So let's get to work making the sounds. Um, we'll turn on both of the oscillators for Molstrom. Molstrom is going to be the high part of the sound, whereas Thor will be the more powerful low end of it. And now we've got both in, just scroll up. Scroll up. To sawtooth time 16. Let's detune these a little bit and move the scent not left and right. Okay, now send it through into the filter and turn the frequency up to full so it's all going through, but just add the resonance just to give it a bit more high end. And this also means you can do this, which is useful when having epic build ups and stuff. I'm sure I'll do another tutorial on that soon. Okay, so now that's pretty much the Malmstrom bit sorted. Down onto Thor, we want three multi-oscillators. There we go. All detuned slightly, the AMT knob, amount, and send them through here with one, two, three. And we want a three octave spread, so just... There we go. Now, once again, frequency of full and a little bit of resonance so you can get that effect and I hit the chorus as well that just widens the sound makes it bigger more epic okay so now we've got a, a pretty big pad at the moment but we want it to be gated so let's get to work on that right click create and matrix pattern sequence so it's right at the bottom and Underneath that, we want right click, create spider CV merger and splitter. Now, if you run this, it gives a weird kind of effect because it's the default setting. So we want to get rid of that. Let's pause this for a second and sort out this. Now, switch the matrix sequencer to curve mode and turn the steps down to 8 and the resolution up to 30 seconds. This means that there's an 8 step gating pattern and there are 32 steps in each bar, meaning this pattern loops 4 times a bar. Resolution controls the speed of the gating, you see. Okay, so let's click on this screen to make a pattern. I'm just going to do this classic trance pattern. And now we've got that. 
we'll press tab to look at the back of the screen and just get rid of all these default patch leads it's put in and okay we'll just first of all switch this unipolar to bipolar um, which makes it temperamental and have some good days and bad ones you'll need a pretty good therapist to help it through this difficult time also it'll make the sound either be completely off or completely on when gating it which is what we want okay so send this curve CV to split A here and then from one of these three patches out of split A send one to where is it amp level on Thor and another one to amp env on the gate input of Maelstrom. Okay, now if we have a listen to this now. Sweet! That's pretty cool. Let's just top it off with a bit of reverb. If we right click on the mixer, create RV7000 Advanced Reverb. And I like the Sawyer Theatre preset, so if we put that on, a bit extra, about halfway on the orcs knobs there. And there you have it! Hope you like the track at light speed that we used with making this, be sure to check it out. Oh yeah, when I said at the start I'd teach you how not to rave like a ponce, there's actually no way to physically do that, but it's cool, everyone can look like a ponce together when raving out to your new epic gated transcend lead. If you found this tutorial useful, help me out by rating this video, or posting a comment so other people can find it. And don't forget to check out my website, boyinaband.com. Have a nice day!